and then now we will just uh yep yep all right guys welcome back to another borderlands 3 video and it is finally here now we do have our very sought after consecutive hits breath of the dying courtesy to the homie none other than a borderlands fan where's he at where's he at no way he's offline he's... where's he at though um i i could have sworn he's, he's still online i mean i i gotta i gotta you know what i'm saying i gotta give my uh, my thanks Where's he at? There he is, right here at the bottom right. I don't know how I missed that. Borderlands fan coming in clutch, really helping your boy out. Dude, this one's rolled. Oh, whoops. This one's rolled at like 19,000, but this thing can definitely get, I think, up to 22,000. Uh, I want to say, uh, but I'm not like exactly positive. Oh, like off the top of my head. Regardless, if any of y'all have been watching some of the uh, recent videos, uh, I definitely have mentioned uh, how badly I've been wanting to get my hands on a level 65 Breath of the Dying because whenever we did the showcase on the level 60 version, dude, this thing like made my jaw drop and I was just like, whoa, <laughs> this gun is this good? <laughs> it's like, okay, word. Obviously, for those of you that don't know how this gun works, uh, it's always, always going to drop in corrosive. And whenever you kill an enemy, it's going to shoot out a, a like, a bunch of little balls to, uh, that go out and you know do splash damage uh, you know those also can kill you so just keep that in mind uh, this thing is not really good with uh, uh, with ASEs because it can't inflict dot it does not inflict dots uh, this thing is mainly to just just kill everything right like you can't die anything you, you just gotta completely douse everything in the game that being said it has significantly increased damage and you put this thing on Moe's, give it, I don't know, some fire in the skag bin, some short fuse. Uh, it's going to get pretty nasty. We are rolling, uh, running with the uh, old guy here. With uh, I know it's level 57. I don't have a level 65 version of this one yet. So we're just rolling with the old one. Uh, we have our big bad green monster. Uh, we got weapon damage and assault rifle damage, which is mostly what we're looking for. Uh, it has a forward scorching RPMs, which is awesome. Uh, and then one in the iron bank. Uh, and then here is our pearl with uh, fire rate and mag size. Gotta love that sexy mag size, baby. And then our hex grenade with 25% grenade thrown. Uh, and then here's our setup. It's just basically, uh, it's our it's a standard double capstone build with drowning in brass now. Uh, except we actually, no, no, never mind. Is yeah, because I don't put anything to the iron bank because I think our mag size is at like 76. Uh, so I don't feel like there's any reason for us to even invest anything um, into the iron banks. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, go ahead and uh, mention that. Also, if you guys want to farm for this gun, it's a world drop. Uh, so, like, you know, Slaughter Shaft, the raids, oh, that could work. Or if you want to go farm the dedicated loot drop, you got to go farm the Blinding Banshee located in Desolation's Edge on Necker to fail. But uh, I, I would just go do the Slaughter Shaft. But that's my personal opinion. Anyways, though, guys, with all that being said, it's time to go cook some shit up. Corrode some things down to the ground and uh, get on with the video. So, let's go ahead. And get right into it all right so uh we're here in the uh, slaughter shaft we've got our handy dandy assault rifle um i don't even know how that fucker down me but whatever it's all good should pick myself back up laser fair let me see it uh dot damage you'd love to see it <laughs> it's all good dude we're going to uh just go on a spree here you know, I wonder if death is a good uh, modifier to start uh, uh, like using. I'm starting to get a little sick of these buddy systems, man. Just a little bit. Um, but yo, the uh, Breath of the Dying is uh, pretty awesome. Whenever I first used this gun, dude, uh, on our initial level 60 showcase of it, I was really, really surprised by how good it performed, dude. I was like, whoa, I want to get a level 65 version of this as soon as we get the level cap. And now that level cap has uh, came out almost two weeks ago now. Damn, really? Yeah. Started the 11th, dude. I mean, the 11th. Started the 21st. The game, uh, DLC came out on the 10th. That's crazy. Man, time really do be flying, bro. I swear. Uh, 
love when I get cryoed. Cryo is such a great element to uh, have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, get dead, get toasted. Get toasted. Wait till we go find Wotan today. That'll be great. No, he, he's so, he's so, he's gonna be petrifying in his boots. Yo, can I stop getting fucking plastered by a Vladov cryo rocket launcher, please? <laughs> Dog, that's so unnecessary, dude. I hate that. <laughs> like, stop. Stop doing that. Leave me alone. I don't want it. I don't want your cryo damage. I don't want it. You can have uh, all of my... Uh, bro, d dude, calm down with the cryo. Enemies should not get Mayhem 10 damage, bro. That's ridiculous. Like, it's not really a problem because we can pick ourselves up so fast. But, like, dude, really? <laughs> do they really have, do they really have the ability to three-shot me or two-shot me, dude? Like, come on, man. That's 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 kind of retarded. Just saying. <laughs> All right, let's see. There's, like, what, two enemies left? Oh, okay. I got stuck for a second. That was weird. You're dead. And then there's uh, something over here. And, uh, oh, look, this dude's just chilling in a corner. What a noob. Sit down. Sit down. We're going to do just one, uh, one round inside of here. And then we'll, uh, we'll head over to the Guardian Takedown. We're going to save Wotan for last, dude. I know he's probably, he doesn't even want to, oh, man, poor guy. He knows what's coming to him. He knows what's coming to him. <laughs> dude, I mean, the breath of the dying, that buff it got, uh, just the damage buff is so crazy. How good, like, it made this gun, like, so insane. Like, it's awesome. It's just so good, dude. Plus, dude, that fire in the Skagden is... Everybody knows how a good fire in the Skagden is. If you're a most player, bro, you just get your 5 out of 5 in the fire in the Skagden. You'll still have 58 skill points to put them wherever else you want. But that fire in the Skagden is just way, 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 way too valuable for how much damage you get for only 5 skill points. Just saying. Just... just just saying, man. The fire in the Skagden's kind of cracked out. Hello. And Booski. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. Head over to the Guardian Takedown. All right. So we're in the Guardian Takedown now. And uh, our Breath of the Dying is going to have a feast against some of these uh, tougher enemies because of two things. Fire in the Skagden and the consecutive hits. And uh, Breath of the Dying is just that good. I fucking love this gun. It's so awesome. It's so good. Get out of my face, bitch. <laughs> Get out of my face, bitch. Sit down. No one's safe. Nobody is safe, bro. Corrosion. Corrosion. I don't know how many, uh, like, how this gun is on, is on many people's radars, but I'm just saying, dude, if you see one and it's got a good anointment on it, bro, just pick it up and just do yourself a favor. Because it's really hard to not, it's really hard to not like this gun, dude. Especially if you're a most player. <laughs> like, dog. They just all sit down, disappear. And we're most, so we're pretty uh, ammo efficient, just a little bit. And we can just, you know, throw out, throw out our casual nukes super effortlessly, which is great. You know, you love to see it, you love to see it. And, uh, yeah, you just love to see it, bro. Bro, ski! Oh. What down me? I don't even know. That I get Mayhem 10 bited by a little fucking ad? That might have happened. Love when I come out of Iron Bear and I instantly die. That's a joke. No, I don't. And, uh, yeah, you're done. Tankiest enemies in the game uh, get roasted. Or corroded, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's head over. Let's go see Wotan. That poor fucking bastard has no... Yeah, he knows exactly what's coming to him. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. So let's go on and head on over. Alright, fellas. We are here... The Malawan takedown, where the death and carnage is gonna reign strong here. Nobody is safe. From our breath of the dying, everybody, everything must go. 
Everything must go. Even you stupid jetpack man. Don't get out of my face, homie. Yeah, sit down. Storm trucker heavyweight, you're dead. Oh, you you want smoke, war dog? You're done. You want smoke too? War dog, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You're done. You're done. Get fucking meleeed. Get sit down. Battle wolf. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You're done. Gonna hop an IB. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Get sniped. Get blown up. Get get exploded. Sit down. <laughs> you're not on my level. <laughs> Battle wolf, you're dead. You're dead. 180 mil casual. Dead. Turn around. Kraken should be. Oh my fucking Christ. Mayhem 10 uh, damage scaling for enemies. Woohoo! Yeah, because I have 40,000 shield total. I mean, 40,000 total, well, you know, life points. Shield and armor, you know what I'm saying, bro? Or I don't even have armor, I just have a shield and health. So, yeah. Yeah, I still stand by that flagship 100% get uh, an armor health bar. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we all saw this coming. Yep, I knew exactly what was gonna happen as soon as as soon as that door opened up. So like, yep, this Kraken's finna get his bacon coming to him. Is he finna get his comeuppance? I don't know why he even said bacon. That's make no damn sense, G. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you thought you had you thought you thought you stood a chance, man. I don't even care that I went down, bro. Cause I just got my second win right there, and right here, and right there, and right here, bro. Everything gets eroded with this puppy. I love it. I love it. All right, fellas. So we're at the bridge now, and um, no one is safe from the carnage that we're going to unleash upon all these enemies. You can down me all you want, but I'm going to get right back up again, baby, because that's what we do here. We go down, we get back up. You can you can fall down as many times as you want, but as long as you get up just one more time than you fall, then you're always a winner. Look at this corroder heavyweight really trying to like actually think he's like built for the task. He's like trying to, to, to he's, he, he thinks he's gonna live. And then he realizes that we have fire in the Skagden and no one is safer in fire in the Skagden. So he dies. As says everybody else on the bridge. They just they just get a erased, a race, man. Like look at homie, he's done. He's done so. This poor guy just came out, he just he just spawned in, he just got spawn killed, bro. It's like Call of Duty demolition all over again, bro. <laughs> Sit down. You have no chance. Dunzo. 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 Hello? Hello. Hey, where that where that oh. Mr. Badass Spec Ops War Dog. I don't even have any shock on. Guess what? Fuck your shield and fuck your armor, homie. You're done. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Man, this is a uh, pretty amazing. Just a little bit insane, bro. Man, you know this is totally random, but I really need to get my hands on a pretty decent flare, so I can play around with it, dude. Just so I can hop in and out of Iron Bear and have so much extra damage. Although I don't think with this setup I'd take it off my green monster because I like I like this green monster a lot. And we have another one with mag size assault rifle damage and weapon damage, but it's only level 53. But that one's five out of five in the scorching RPG damage instead of four. But I figured this would uh, four is still really good. And um, having the passes uh, sniper damage, weapon damage, and assault rifle damage is good. Plus, you know the pa the dam the passes are just higher because you know it is level 65. Uh, so yeah, that does kind of help a little bit. I really cannot wait to get my hands on these four skill trees. Oh, uh, hello. What did, did you just bounce back my own bullets? That makes no damn sense, but I'm gonna kill everything. We're gonna go head over to Wotan and uh, he's gonna quiver in his pants. He's gonna get completely melted and there's nothing he can do about it. He's gonna die. <laughs> no chance. Woe's on you, you stand zero chance. Zilch, not a zippo. Not enough space in the middle of the wide open. What even is that garbage, dude? Only 
the only action skill in the game that has that stupid message. Not enough space for action skill. Like, shut up. Just, just spawn my Iron Bear, homie. Uh, I really, I, I want to feel bad for Wotan, but I, I, I mean, uh, dude. Like, no boss deserves to get uh, melted this fast. Except for Wotan, he does. It's a special treat. Sometimes Wotan likes to try and be a little bit extra. You know, we'll take the top half out, uh, the top half out first. <laughs> and then now we'll just, uh, yep. Yep. Y'all see why I like this gun a lot? Y'all see what I'm saying when I say this gun is, like, amazing and every person should, like, at least have a copy of it? Like, it's so goddamn good. It's so... <laughs> dude, that was one of the fastest Wotan fights I've ever done, dude. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. That is going to just about wrap up the video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to, uh, you know, smack that like button for me. You know, I greatly appreciate it. Also, if y'all haven't enjoyed the content and y'all are new around here, uh, make sure to subscribe, guys. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Trying to hit that by the end of the year. So if you like Daily Borderlands 3, uh, then you should totally subscribe over here. Because your boy does post Daily Borderlands 3. Now, let's go ahead and run through the setup. Uh, once again, also, yeah, we do have level 65 Ogre. Probably be showing this off within a week. Um, as well with some other Jacob Snipers. We have some we have quite a amount of level 65 toys to play with. So here is our old god. Here is our green monster. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this green monster and this uh, Breath of the Dying and some corrosive weapons. I'm go, man, oh man. And here's our recurring hex grenade with 25% grenade thrown. And then our pearl. And then here is our shield retribution streak. Gotta love that max shining in brass now, baby. You love to see it with double capstone. Uh, here's our uh, bombless mag tree. Gotta love that extra scorpion RPMs. Uh, the extra damage you get is really nice, as well as you know the iron bit damage and the fire rate. It's really, really good. Uh, iron bank, I just, I just felt like we didn't need to put anything in there, so I didn't even worry about it. And then we have our click click. You love to see it. Our beautiful forge, you know. And then, obviously, our standard blue tree. Uh, just nothing in a pull the holy pen because hex grenades automatically get the ability to crit So I just there's no reason to and uh, I'm addicted to the hammer down protocol nukes as they're just so mindless and easy at clearing out a group of ads So yeah, <laughs> anyways guys that is gonna be the video. Hope y'all enjoyed. My name's Cree and we'll see y'all in the next one Peace out everybody